minutes now. Former Expresso presenter and our insurance front man, that's Katla Romaboy, is appearing in court this morning. Well, he allegedly violated the terms of a protection order. Allegations of abuse have been leveled against the TV personality, but he's denying them. Our reporter, ENC's Monique Montlock, is following this story for us, and she joins us now for the very latest. Monique, a very good morning to you, colleague. What's the latest on this particular court appearance between Katla Romaboy and understand his partner, Monique? Details are really scant at this stage. What we do know is what we heard from the NPA's office is that uh, Katleko Mabwe is expected to appear in the Cape Town Magistrates Court. We are about to head in and then hopefully we'll be able to see just what, um, on what charges he's appearing. Uh, reports suggest that he's, he will be appearing uh, because he allegedly breached a protection order taken out by his um, estranged girlfriend, Monique Miller. So we will be finding finding out shortly whether both of them will be appearing or if it's just him. No. Do we know our time at this point when we can expect those proceedings to commence? Usually court does start at 9 o'clock. Um, due to lockdown regulations, they only allow a certain number of people inside the courtroom. And um, there's usually a long line as people sign up. You can see uh, people usually have to sign up. They have to do the, the temperature checks, all of those um, things according to the COVID-19 safety regulations, but usually court does start at nine o'clock. What we can expect um, from a first court appearance is there's generally a postponement. Um, it's very, really, very really rare that a trial or a matter will start immediately, smoothly from the get-go. There's usually postponements for um, various representations to be made, various discussions, especially in a, a domestic um, case like this one. Discussions usually taking place outside of the court between the different representatives. What I can also say is I have attempted to get comment from um, Mabwe and Miller's uh, representatives neither wanted to comment, uh, neither wanted to go into the details of the case or even where the matter is being heard. Yeah, uh, just keep us up to speed here, uh, Monique, just in terms of context for our viewers that perhaps hadn't seen uh, what had happened on social media, that viral video that has landed Katla Khomaboy and his estranged partner, Monique Merler, to where we are today, where we're expecting their court appearance. What happened? A few weeks ago, a video went viral on social media, on various social media platforms. And in that video, you could see Mabwe being interrogated by what sounded like the voice of uh, his girlfriend, Monique Muller. She confronted him, asking him about an alleged incident of infidelity. He then admitted that he had slept with someone. Um, and she, uh, Monique Miller, then went on to say he had given her an STD, which caused um, some fertility problems or which could cause fertility problems. She was obviously outraged in this video. This video circulated, um, was shared thousands of times on various social media platforms. Mabue then later, uh, about a day later, released a statement on his social media platforms admitting that um, he, in that what we see in that video is correct, that he um, had been, uh, th that he had cheated on his girlfriend and he had caused this pain and hurt. But other allegations then also surfaced allegedly by Monique Miller's brother, Seth Miller, that Mabwe had also on um, other occasions uh, her, her death or, or physically assaulted his sister he um, posted this on Instagram. Mabwe denied those allegations, but um, different videos that had also circulated uh, shows Monique Miller speaking about the fact that um, in, in an interview with a media personality, speaking about the fact that he had um, Daisy's hand to her, that uh, or, and also addressing those cheating allegations. And in the in that video where she speaks about. Um, these uh, allegations. She also mentions the fact that he is a good father. Um, so uh, hence us being here, apparently uh, Mabwe uh, contravened that protection order that she had taken out against him for allegedly um, breaching that order. Uh, she had taken that order out originally following an alleged assault. Um, and that is why we are here today. And hopefully we will get more details or clearer details about 
what charges Mabui faces. But it seems, colleague, that these are not the only consequences that Katlego had faced. I addressed him earlier as a former Expresso TV personality. It seemed that there were other, uh, you know, opportunities or even, you know, I suppose, you know, uh, uh, consequences that had occurred uh, due to this video, despite him appearing in court today. Yes, so following the release of that video and obviously it going viral, various um, comedians even made light of it and joked about it and they brought in the fact that he is the brand ambassador for Outruidance and or he was leading a quite a popular campaign on um, TV, on social media and uh, Outruidance then basically took him off the air and, and all of these ads that he was in, we no longer saw it on air. Um, it was then in those weeks or, or in the week leading, uh, following the video and following our children taking him off of their, um, their ad campaigns and um, Expresso also suspending him that there was a campaign launched, an online petition bring back um, Katlejo where, and the last time I checked last night, it had garnered over 66,000 signatures. It might even be more. It keeps climbing. Those who have set up this petition, uh, they are hoping to reach about 75 signatures, and they are hoping to bring back Katlejo Mabwe to the, the screens. Obviously, as you mentioned, he was quite, or is still, it seems, quite a popular um, online personality, quite a popular TV personality, and it seems as if thousands of fans are still backing him despite these very serious allegations, not only of infidelity, right. but also of domestic, domestic abuse during the downs. All right, NCA's Monique Montlock, thank you so much for keeping us to speed, and we'll definitely be tuned into your updates throughout the day right here on ENCA.